Any tips on courses in Berlin? Are you annoyed by the interracial relationship questions? I sure am. I'm wondering what exactly it is you do career-wise, you mean? I feel like I will forever get this question. There are so many injustices going on, like looks and staring in the most nasty way, and I feel like I can finally blend in and nobody stares at me. Literally, I can walk down the street, mind my business, go to the supermarket and not feel like I'm Beyonce or, you know, Mariah Carey or somebody. Hi guys, welcome back to a, another video. Today is going to be a Q&A session and I felt like I should redo this video. Also, please do not mind the ashiness. I put on my clown makeup basically. That's what I use to keep my face matte and it just makes me very white. So just keep that in mind. This video is basically going to be a Q&A session for all of my newcomers. I asked you guys to ask me some questions on Instagram as well as on YouTube. I'm just going to run through some of them while while I do my makeup so it's gonna be like a combination video especially because you guys have been asking as well for an updated makeup routine nothing's too updated if I'm honest but I am using some new products and I will just tell you what I'm using now let's jump into the video and also just a big FYI I do have aligners on if you watched my last video you would know that I am wearing aligners now so if you hear a lisp don't kill me I'm so sorry I am still trying to adjust to learning how to speak with these stupid aligners on so let me show you guys what i'm using on my skin if you've watched any of my previous makeup videos you know that i use the Meron skin prep this is like i said clown makeup but it's mattifying skin toner and i use this underneath my makeup at all times because i'm an oily beast and if the clowns can wear all of that makeup 24 7 and they're not you know looking like a watery you know slippery painting then it can also work for me so that's why i'm using it i also put on so far this mac studio fix um 12 hour shine primer so i'm gonna start with the questions from instagram just because there were a lot and i feel like they actually have some juicy questions the first one which is more or less the one that i get all the time which is where did you learn german any tips on courses in berlin so let me give you the short long story basically if you have you know caught up with me and watch my videos i studied abroad to um, austria and i studied abroad to germany so i started learning german then so i did a1 in austria and i was like okay i didn't learn anything so i did a1 again when i studied in germany and to be honest i didn't really learn anything it was only when i moved back to germany and i had a german boyfriend and i you know was living with him and his family and I was just surrounded by a lot of German and people like refused to speak English. So it was kind of forced upon me basically to learn the language. And it wasn't even quick. Like I snapped like it was quick. It wasn't quick because my brain, I'm very, very slow with languages. Like I don't, I just don't do well with languages. So my company at the time, um, they offered or they paid for me to go take some German classes. So I took two intensive courses. This is not, you know, consecutively. I'm just giving you, you know, over time. I took two intensive courses of German. So I moved up to A2 and then I just took classes. Like I took a regular class. It was two times a week, I think for an hour and a half. And after that, I took a conversational class because at that point, this is like now five years time at that point i was now at b2 and i wanted more conversation in my life rather than typical like grammar and learning german and blah 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 i got all of that already from my intensive courses and my regular classes but i wanted more conversation and so yeah and i actually did not really learn german like with my partner it wasn't like we were like bouncing off each other like german talking german no like for me and I'll be honest because I feel like some people lie or some people just have a different experience. But when I was talking German in the very beginning and maybe mid period with my partner, I'm not gonna lie, maybe he's just not a good teacher, but I always felt stupid. I really felt like not intelligent and I was not liking that vibe. I was not liking that feeling. And I feel like it was putting a stress on the relationship. So after, like, after a while, I was like, you know what? I don't really want to learn German with you. Like you're not a teacher and you're just not a teacher. And I just don't want to have this come between us. So my German came from outside sources. It came from school basically and just being in the environment. So that's basically where I learned German. Like guys, I don't know how to multitask, so please 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 if the makeup comes out bad 
it's because I'm trying to multitask and do a lot of things right now. I am gonna start with my Refi. If you have been keeping up with my vlogs, you know I bought the three-step brow kit from Refi. So I'm basically just gonna do that. What are were you studying? So I studied in my undergrad English Multicultural Literature and now in Germany I am studying. At first I was studying marketing but things changed so now I'm studying business management in digitalization. Someone asked what level of German do I speak? Like I just mentioned I am speaking now B2. I'm sure it's more than that but I just have not, you know, taken a test after that. How was it like starting a whole new life in Germany? So I won't go too deep into this because I've made multiple videos on my journey in Germany and basically I didn't love it in the beginning. It was a real big culture shock. So I would recommend watching my culture shock video. All of my tips are basically in that video. I'll try to leave a link here. So I'm using this second product. It's basically a brow powder and I'm just going to dip in here and apply that to my brows. So you guys can kind of see like they're already sticking up and I'm just lifting the powder up. So someone said, I'm wondering what exactly it is you do career wise. You mean, I feel like I will forever get this question, but as a tip, if you guys check in my description box, I literally have all of my FAQs there and it does say what I do. So I am a program manager. How is the house coming along? I'm loving the aesthetics. The house is moving and it's going to be moving even better because we finally have a storage um, place. And this is just for like the suitcases and the extra boxes, like to transport TVs and computers and everything and I don't like throwing those away so I need a place to put them and so um, we finally have a storage place and now I can move all those boxes there so we can finally have a clean apartment a clean house because there's boxes and things around which I want to remove one bathroom is basically like occupied with all that stuff what is your sign I am a Capricorn Any tips on confidence in unfamiliar slash new environments? Honestly, you just have to be that girl. You've probably seen this with celebrities. Even if you don't feel like you are the most confident, you better project it because people I find will take advantage of you once they see that you're not as confident or if you're looking scared, people will take advantage of you. And that was my mentality when I came here because I was very, very scared just because there's a lot of people that don't look like me, that don't speak you know, English, and it's all very, very scary. And I did not want to look like that scared black girl from who knows where, just walking around. Like, I didn't want to be a target, a further target. So I just walked with confidence. I'm using now LA Pro, LA Girl Pro Concealer in Chestnut. I've literally had this exact same concealer since like four years. Are you annoyed by the interracial relationship questions? I sure am. It's okay to ask about relationship questions in general and you guys know I'm so open with that especially the OGs who've been with me. You were there from the breakup because I started YouTube after the breakup. I got back with that person if you don't know then you need to catch up on my videos but i was very open anyways with talking about like my journey through the breakup and um, how i found myself again especially in this new environment without him and you guys have been there but i think sometimes some people may get out of control or they may like fetishize that whole um, relationship which I definitely don't want because we are just regular human beings and he is a very normal regular person and there's nothing magical about this well I wouldn't say that we are very magical I think everyone every couple's magical in their own way but some people do fetishize that relationship and it's a little scary sometimes but I just don't address it and I will say like I do see how some of the other youtubers who you know they also have partners who maybe are of a different race and you just don't see them anymore like you just don't hear about them you don't see anything and there's probably a reason for that I don't want my relationship to overshadow my personal journey like this is the zoe marie channel this is about my experiences in germany and so that you guys can also see what is germany like can i move to germany like can i live there like what's going on in germany that's my channel it's lifestyle it's travel it's Fun, it's education it's fashion but it's not my relationship and I think some people are really confusing when they see like my partner in like two seconds of a clip 
they confuse that as like this is a couple's channel now and it's not a couple's channel he is a part of my life and it's very hard for me to like cut him out just so that i could film he's gonna be here regardless but it's just it's not his show like it's the zoe marie show he is a side character i'm the main character all right so i'm gonna move to my foundation next i am using the smashbox studio skin 24 hour um, this is in Skin Tone Deep, Undertone Cool, 4.35. This feels like old time YouTube when they used to like, you know, do this. But anyways, um, I love this foundation. It's matte. It keeps, it supports me with the oil, like truly. How is life in Berlin versus your old cities? Are you people much, are people much open-minded? I love Berlin. And I've been in Germany, I've been in Europe for quite some time already, so it's not like I'm new. I was living before in Stuttgart, and no offense to my Stuttgartians, and I think I, I, I mentioned it in another video too, and some people tried to defend Stuttgart till the very end, and that's not what I was trying to say. I have been in Stuttgart for like five years before moving to Berlin, and Berlin is way more open-minded. I'm so happy that I moved here although I don't think my German would be at the level that it's at if I did not start my journey in Stuttgart because it's because of them that I know German people literally refused and they can speak proficient English refused to be in kind situations like refused to speak English or even support me if I am trying in German. This is just some experiences that I had as well. If you guys watched my Being Black in Germany video, y'all know I was pushed out of that bus. It was in Stuttgart, okay? I didn't say it then, but I'm saying it now. It was in Stuttgart, legit, like a man pushed me out of the bus. So I don't have like, like I still like Stuttgart, don't get me wrong, but there's some experiences there that kind of shaped like forever my view of Stuttgart. A lot of things I saw happening and this could also happen in Berlin, you know, I haven't been here long enough, but there is so many looks and staring in the most nasty way and just a lot of bystanders watching and no one saying anything. While although in Berlin, I'm finding that there's so much more internationals, there's so many other people here and I think there's more of a community when it comes to bystander intervention type of thing. I feel like I I can finally blend in in Berlin. Nobody stares at me. Literally, I can walk down the street, mind my business, go to the supermarket and not feel like I'm Beyonce or, you know, Mariah Carey or somebody super famous that everybody knows. So I really do like it here. I think people are way more open-minded and I can see why everyone gravitates to Berlin. What made you decide to get your master's? Before I answer that, I'm gonna conceal my eyes in Too Faced Born This Way. This is in Chestnut, this is my favorite concealer. I always wanted to get my master's and my mom always taught me to, you know, never get too comfortable. And I was getting really comfortable in my bachelor's degree. And in the very beginning, it was kind of really difficult to progress to the next level or even get a different type of job just because I only had my bachelor's and it was in English multicultural literature and you know I'm here abroad in Germany and I wanted to do more I had more in me and I wanted to have the degree to back me up and support me and that's basically the reason why I decided to do my master's how's the cost of living in Berlin versus uh, Stuttgart so I never live in the city of Stuttgart, so I don't know, but I know that it's expensive and I think Stuttgart in general is actually more expensive than Berlin. But what I've been told before I moved to Berlin was that Berlin was very, very, very affordable. And if I'm honest, just talking about housing, it's actually expensive, more expensive than I would have imagined. But I still, I still think though that Stuttgart is probably more expensive, but when it comes to housing, like I am paying more now than I was paying in Stuttgart so what's the procedure to apply for permanent residency in Germany and I avoid these questions at all costs uh, because I am not you know 
legal department or anything and I don't like giving people advice on that because it can always backfire like if for some reason I say like this is the process or this is the process that I went through they'll come back and be like well no that's not the process and that didn't work for me and da da da, da. like people always have something to say and as well like if the process doesn't work for you like how it worked for me I don't want to be liable in your mind for why it didn't work out so I really do try to avoid those questions can you talk a bit more about your style evolution high school college post college I feel like you keep stepping it up did Germany play a part in your style evolution are you the woman in Germany style are the women in Germany stylish where do you get your style inspo so to be honest I think I was always stylish like obviously my style has evolved with the times um, in high school I like to dress up I like to do my makeup I was that girl doing my makeup every single day really like trying out new things so I think I always had this like fashion thing in my mind and when I went when I came to Germany like, I don't know if Germany influenced my fashion but when I came to Germany like you know I was starting out very humble that is the best way to say that I was starting out very humble I didn't post any pictures on Instagram I didn't really dress up either because I'm trying to like find my life basically so I wasn't doing all of that but um, when I got a new job and I started to make a bit more money, I got back on social media. I was just looking a lot um, as well as I started YouTube and I just started to watch other girls like I can't even remember now. And I think my fashion started to snap back in, but I always kind of had this fashion sense. And since I moved to or since the last two years when I like moved like after the breakup and everything um i started just experimenting and since i had money i could buy different types of clothing and try things out and then my style kind of just like developed there i don't think it was from german people per se because i was in a farm area and i was surrounded by you know old people and all types of other people what are some things you considered before moving to europe what are some things you would suggest someone think about before making a big move especially to a another country before i answer that i'm now using a blush palette as well from brandy beachy and i think i'm gonna go with a very soft pink today i'm gonna use so sweet and the new trend is like on your nose which is cute well first of all you need to have some money to support yourself for at least three to six months so that's what i considered i was like do i have enough savings right now to support me if anything goes wrong for up to three months i saved like crazy i worked like a dog i saved that money so that i could have a security blanket that's definitely what you should do like definitely make sure you have money saved up after that you need to know where you're going to live and where you're going to work those two things I considered. I knew where I wanted to live because I studied abroad and I was like, I want to go back to that specific place. And I didn't know where I was going to live, but I had an Airbnb and I was like, okay, I'm going to just stay in an Airbnb until I find somewhere to live. That was kind of like my thought process. Yeah, so I definitely think those are the most important things to consider. How difficult was it getting into your master's program in Germany? I have a master's from the US, but was looking to move to Germany in pursuit of an MBA. I don't think it was that difficult. I had to retrieve my transcript and an official transcript from my university in the US. And then they had to first assess if those points were transferable, like if it would fit into the European point system or grading system. Because if it didn't, then that means I basically didn't go to school and I couldn't just jump right into my master's. So they had to do that first. Luckily, all of the points calculated the same. And then um, after that, they had checked my grades. I had to have a certain grade to get in, but this is just my specific university. And then I had to have, I think it was two or three references, work references. For my specific program, I needed to be working. So I brought them that. And then I had to write like a statement about myself. I think it was a two pager about why I should go into the school, etc. And of course I had to pay. <laughs> like this university you have to pay, which is a little bit different than other German universities these um, but I needed the flexibility to work full-time as well as go to school and so that's why I had to pay for this type of private university and so once I could see that I can pay then I was accepted and that's how I got into my MSc all in all it wasn't a very difficult process I would just suggest just to start what's my favorite vacation and I would say Bali like Bali number one and then Greece those two places I love 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 like the greek people 
they're just everything they treat you with so much kindness and i just love it and bali was also the same it was just beautiful in a different non-traditional vacation way um yeah i just I, I love bali any saving budgeting tips for vacations i will give you guys a good tip because like i told you i had very humble beginnings in germany and i mean humble humble okay so i and i still went on vacation so this is like the first time you know with a boyfriend as well and like i'm abroad and we were doing this vacation thing i'm from a jamaican <laughs> jamaican <laughs> i am jamaican american and in my family growing up we never went on vacation this is like a little backstory for you guys we never went on vacation it was just like work school work school you know we also were humble you know we came from humble beginnings and i just never went on vacation up until i moved to germany we were not going on vacation so when i came to germany and i saw like the culture is like every year like the families take a vacation like couples they go on vacation together i was like oh okay where's the money though anyways the point is when i came to germany and i had you know this boyfriend we wanted to go on vacation i think the first place we went was paris you know me i'm a saving guru that's how i got here i would literally like suffer you don't have to suffer but i would split like three quarters of my rent like after all my bills came out and i would put that every month to save towards the vacation so if i know the vacations in june like we normally pre-plan my vacations in june i'm gonna start saving from january like 300 or 200 whatever i can manage for my salary i'm gonna take that every single month and save that for the vacation and that's what i did and just a side note since i moved to germany and started traveling and my parents my whole family has visited me they now understand the importance of vacation and me time and why people go on vacation and since i moved here like six years now we have been taking vacations every single year we benefit from it my mom loves to travel she would have never thought of traveling outside of the us outside of jamaica anywhere she has traveled she has seen mexico she's seen europe and i feel like this journey has opened my eyes that my family and you you guys can go abroad you guys can travel you can do that too you guys can have a good time you guys can see the world and i'm so happy that my family were influenced by my decision to move abroad so yeah guys that is basically the video um i am really really hungry i have some salmon in the oven which is why i'm gonna end this video now as well i wanted to pop out quickly for some errands so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any other questions that i maybe didn't answer please pop it in the comment section below if you have some comments to some of the answers i gave or some of the questions because some were a little spicy which is you know it's okay uh just leave your comments below i hope you guys are staying healthy and safe and i'll see you in another video